you need two yeses. Just doing a rack of lamb properly would have been a more sensible idea, especially seeing what's at stake. Zahir has 45 minutes to prepare his dish before he comes face to face with the judges. Today I'm making a home smoked rack of lamb. I like doing things out of the ordinary. It smells amazing, right? Oh, yeah. Very happy. So here, how's it going? Jeez, I'm so stoked to be standing in front of you guys. <laughs> right, first up. Tell us about the dish you've got for us today. Uh, well, today I cooked a home-smoked rosemary and red currant rack of lamb on a bed of beetroot and goat's cheese uh, pomme puree served with rose garlic and red port jus. You've got five minutes to put the dish together. Okay. And then we're going to taste it. And if two of us like it, then that's enough for you to get the white apron, which would take you into the next round. So your five minutes starts now. Tell us a little about the smoking process. I smoked it in a pot with some foil for about six minutes and then seared it for three to five seconds on each side and then put it in the oven for eight minutes. You're about two minutes to finish off. I really hope that you judges uh, really enjoy my dish. It's gonna take me closer to where I wanna be. And which is where? I've always wanted to own a bistro, non-pretentious, just good, hearty, wholesome food. I will follow that passion because it's something that is so dear to me. I was, everybody was born with talent, but not, not a lot of people utilize that talent in the correct way. Now, the trick behind smoking is to smoke it and keep it nice and moist. You don't want to dry it out. You want to kill that taste. Still got a bit of moisture in there. Are you okay? Uh, I'm just, you know, I, it's like I quit my job and everything because I really, really, really want to do this, and um, I'm just so disappointed. Because I really want to, I really want to um, make you, you judges happy. Okay, let us taste it. If it's not, we'll let you know. But then you gave it your best shot. that smokiness and it lacked a lot of seasoning so it needed an upliftment. The red wine reduction needed to be reduced a lot more to give it that full body that you expect from a sauce and that might have then lifted that lamb a lot more. I'm afraid it's a no for me. Benny. Contrary to uh, Andrew, I could taste that smokiness that you tried to introduce into that rack of lamb. I liked the sugar from the beetroot and also from that roasted garlic that goes very well with smoked meat. Good attempt at trying to make something that would impress us and that's what we want to see on the show. I'm going to give you a yes. Thank you so much. Zaire, you need two yeses. Just doing a rack of lamb properly would have been a more sensible idea, especially seeing what's at stake. But I like outside of the box, so it's yes. Come get an apron.
feeling quite confident. Everything has run perfect so far, so hopefully the judges will like my feet. I'm Joni Mitchell and I was here last year. This time I think I'm a little bit more prepared, but at the same time I think I'm more nervous this time than I was last time. I know what to expect and it makes it a little bit more daunting. I'll be gutted if I'm not if I'm not through. Jenny, you were in season one, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm the comeback kid. Hi, Jenny, and what are you going to be preparing for us today? I'm going to be making some prawn rissoles. You've obviously yet to prepare this year. I am. I've been on an absolute culinary adventure for the last year, and all I've done is cook and eat and read, and um, definitely feel like I've got much more to offer. I love a good result. Jenny, to me, those resolves were absolutely perfect. Just the right amount of spice in there, the sauce was lovely and juicy and not too thick. It's a definite yes from me, but you need two yeses in order to get through. We can see that you went back and practiced and worked on the mistakes from last season. It's a big yes from me. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I prepared for you today a fillet steak with mushroom and sherry and grain mustard sauce. Right, so where's the um, love for food come from? Uh, my love for food came when I was eight. My mother taught me how to cook, so I just love food in general. I didn't really like it. Didn't really work for me. So I'm gonna say no. I will give you a yes based on the sauce alone. It's a yes. You need two yeses to go into boot camp. So it's up to Andrew. Benny. Yep. I have to say that I tend to agree with Pete. That's an awesome dish. And I don't know what you didn't like about it. Uh, that sauce lifts that fillet. It was cooked perfectly. Absolutely awesome. Thank you. Well thank, you thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Let's give it a whirl. Beans. Crunchy. Thank you. Mash. Smooth. Chicken. Moist. Sauce. Tasty. Thank you. I can't ask for more than that. Could be a yes from me. Two yeses take you into the next round. Ah!